What's up, my peeps? Time for a brand new episode of WWE Mayhem. And if you guys missed the WWE Universe episode that I posted up a couple hours ago, go ahead and check it out. It's on the channel. Last time I said the link will be in the description box, and I forgot to put it in there. But it's real simple. Just click on my channel name, and you'll find the video in case I forget to put it in the description box. So, anyways, these St. Patrick's Day events, or these St. Patrick's Day events, are here. We've got a normal one, which is open to all, and here's the thing guys see uh, i saw a comment in the mayhem facebook group of somebody saying yo the events you know aren't as good as they used to be or like they're useless or something like that i wouldn't say that because when it comes to the three and four star events the rewards are so good in some cases great rewards uh, but you might be looking at the open to all events and expecting, you know, great rewards. Events that don't require a 3 or 4 star, or any star for that matter, tend to have lower rewards. And uh, nowadays, we're getting open to all events, we're getting, you know, 2 star, 3 star, 4 star exclusive events, and you'll notice that the best rewards are for the 3 and 4 star versions of those events. So for instance, this St. Patrick's Day event that's open to all gives you 75 gold on a super superstar 50 on normal and for beginner 25 but the three star version and this isn't even the four star version on superstar you get 150 gold on normal you're getting 112 and on beginner you're getting 75 so for this episode i'm gonna go ahead and go through the saint patrick's day events because also it is saint patrick's day so it is fitting as far as the mayhem event goes it is a two star mayhem event I was hoping for a 3 or 4 star version because the 2 star version only features a tier 2 dumbbell. I was hoping for a tier 3 dumbbell, but whatever. Let's go ahead and get into the St. Patrick's Day event. And while I go through this, I want to go over some news that we just got in regards or a hint like a small bit of news in regards to the upcoming WrestleMania update and how it might feature. Actually, there is a very good chance that it's going to feature some gameplay changes in regards to the strikes. But first off, let me go ahead and set up my team here. Of course, I've got to have AJ Styles in there. Somebody in the comment section of, I think the last Mayhem video said, you know, rank up AJ Styles, please, or get him to the max rank. He's already at the max rank. Check this out. If I go to Superstar, uh, hold on a second, Superstar AJ Styles, he's at rank number four. So he's at max rank. It's just that I haven't maxed him out. And at this point, I don't feel like maxing him out. I don't see the need to do so because I spent all of my cash in the game on my four-star superstars. This St. Patrick's Day event is all about green and orange because you've just got high flyers and brawlers and that's it. So I gotta go ahead and go with a strong powerhouse here. So we'll put in Brock Lesnar despite the strikes. I don't want to put in any wildcard superstars, or I might just put in one but not use them in a brawler match because then the brawler would get the class bonus. So when it comes to the high flyers, I can take care of them with Brock Lesnar. Then we've got the brawlers. What's the brawler's weakness again? I'm trying to remember here. Oh, I think it's the showman superstars. Yes, it is. So, hey, John Cena. I just got actually three-star John Cena a couple episodes ago for the first time, so we're going to put him to use here. So we got John Cena, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles. How about we put in Randy in there? And who should fill in that last spot? You know what? I couldn't help myself. I just had to go ahead and use a wildcard superstar in Jericho just to get this perfect synergy to right here. AJ Styles, of course, and Curse Jericho, both 15% more critical hit damage. Brock Lesnar with John Cena, 15% more damage for all. John Cena with Randy, 10% more lock break for all. And Randy with AJ Styles, 10% faster energy gain. So let's go ahead and talk about this upcoming WrestleMania update and what we can expect. So somebody on the community page went ahead and asked if the WrestleMania update would be the next update or if we'd get an update before that because he'd like to see a change when it comes to the strikes and how he feels the slower strike superstars should get their strikes changed. In that same thread, a bunch of people agreed saying that the superstars with the slow strikes you know, it's not really encouraging to play as them because of the slow strikes. When you're going for those medium attacks, it's just a two-hit combo. And on top of that, it's slow too. So because of that, a lot of people are like, yo, Reliance Games, uh, we'd like to see a change when it comes to the slow strikes. Because 
Let's face it, a lot of us would rather use the weaker superstars, but with the quicker strikes. So Reliance Games actually replied in the thread, listening to everybody, saying, Thanks everyone for all the feedback. We are working hard on the WrestleMania update and gameplay is one of our major focuses. We will make an announcement with the list of improvements and new additions when it gets closer to release. So, that to me indicates that gameplay is going to get a change once again in the WrestleMania update, but this time it seems like it's going to go ahead and focus on the strikes or it's going to be part of it. Because in that thread, it was full of people talking about the strikes and them saying thank you for all the feedback and they're working hard on the WrestleMania update and gameplay is a big focus in it. Then I can definitely see them making a change when it comes to the slow strikes. And I definitely think it's needed because a lot of us would rather use a weaker superstar with quicker strikes than a stronger superstar with slower strikes. Which kind of negates a lot of the powerhouses in the game because... Pretty much every single one of the powerhouses, except for Roman Reigns, used the slow strikes. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit that 5 knuckle shuffle. So, out of everything we can expect in the WrestleMania update, I think the most likely thing is another gameplay change, most likely to do with the strikes. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out and if they do indeed change the slow strikes, which I think they should. Let's go ahead and take on Kalisto up next. In the comments section, I want to ask you guys a question here. Do you guys prefer a weaker superstar with quicker strikes or a stronger superstar with the slow strikes? For me, it's a no-brainer. I'll take the weaker superstar with the quicker strikes. Because I tend to use medium attacks most of the time anyways. Uh, so with the slower strikers, I tend to use more light attacks. And even when I go for the forehead combos, those forehead combos for the slow strikers consist mostly of light attacks. So you're not even getting, you know, the max amount of damage because you're not going for that many medium attacks when you're going for those combos. So Brock versus Kalisto. Let's try and get enough five in and maybe some Suplex City. Although I do wish Suplex City was replaced with um, the Kimura Lock instead. So come on, Kalisto, get stunned already. All right, one and two. So as you can see, those slow strikes, it's a two-hit combo when it comes to the medium attacks. Could go for a four-hit combo, but not interested right now. Let's just go for Suplex City. And uh, yeah, we're sending Kalisto to Suplex City. One, two, three, four. See, that four-hit combo right there consists of three light attacks and just one medium attack. Uh, so, it's another disadvantage, I feel, when it comes to the slow strikers. Two, three, match is over. Bork Laser wins. And actually, looking at Taker here, and going back to a comment that was posted up in the last video, somebody said, hey, Roman Reigns isn't the only powerhouse with, you know, quick strikes. You're right, I forgot about Limited Edition Undertaker. It's basically just Limited Edition Taker and Roman Reigns. And most people don't have Limited Edition Taker because he was only there for a limited time. Uh, so some of us do have him, but most people don't. Because you had to get him during that period of time when he was available in the Raw 25 event. The other Takers still have the slow strikes. Which is unfortunate because Taker... I like Taker. Taker is one of my favorite superstars of all time. So, of course, I'd love to get The Undertaker in this game. But the problem is, would I like to play as The Undertaker? Probably not as much as the other superstars, the other brawlers in the game. You know, as Steve Austin, for instance, who is a brawler and has, you know, strong stats, but has quick strikes instead. Uh, so, I'd love to see Taker and in all the other, you know, slow strikers get an update changing their strikes because I think it would make not just me, but a lot of us play as the slow strikers or no longer the slow strikers, the powerhouses and the brawlers with the slow strikers a lot more if you switch up those strikes. What was Taker thinking going for that attack? I'm just gonna counter and lock you in to the walls of Jericho. Is it gonna be enough to make him tap though? Probably not, but maybe I can do it if I can match these up quick enough. Oh man, messed that one up. No. Okay, it's fine though, it's fine. Just one more attack and it oh, he blocks. See, another thing that I'd like to see change when it comes to gameplay changes is how quick the opponent recovers from a stun. Sometimes it just feels way too quick. Especially since the last update, I don't remember it being that quick before. Two, three, match is done. So next up, we've got a no disqualification match. Let's go with John Cena, because he gets the class bonus. Come on, get stunned already. Alright, now let's go ahead and drain all of his energy, because he's going to reverse that. 
I saw it coming, man, and we're just gonna reverse back and we'll be good to go in this no disqualification match. Five knuckle shuffle. Match might just be over right after this. How much damn yeah. Might just be over right here. Let's see. So one and two and three. Let's go ahead and just finish it off right now. F5. And our Sammy is done. So I'm in here right now, speaking of Sammy, it is Sammy versus Kevin Owens, but I don't think that's actually gonna be the match after what they did to Shane McMahon on SmackDown. Come on. They attacked him right after the match was announced. At the moment, both Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are heels. So I highly doubt that's gonna be the final match. Chances are it's gonna be a tag team match. Back to Shane, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. I definitely think it's gonna end up being a tag team match with Shane McMahon picking a tag team partner. What I'm hoping for, as I think most people are, is Daniel Bryan making a return as Shane McMahon's partner in the match. Please, that would make that WrestleMania. That would be amazing if Daniel Bryan comes back in that match. I hope that's the outcome. Honestly, I think anybody else would be a disappointment, not because of the talent of the superstar. It's just that a lot of us are expecting and hoping that Daniel Bryan is that partner. So if it's anybody else, uh, I'm definitely going to be disappointed, and I know a lot of other people will be as well. Uh, are we actually going to? Wow, we actually got that. Next up is the champ. And that's it. Last match in the St. Patrick's Day event. Then we'll get to the loot opening, which uh, I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's not going to be an impressive loot opening because I don't have any major cases to open up. Oh, okay, so we've actually got two more matches. AJ and then Steve Austin. I like the look of three-star AJ, but one look that I would like to see is AJ with some loot tights in the game. Uh, I actually would prefer that for four-star AJ than the current four-star AJ with, you know, uh, the entrance jacket. Actually, for a lot of the four-star superstars, I like to see, you know, ring attires instead of entrance attires. I just think it's more fitting and, you know, they don't wear the entrance attires in the ring. So, like, AJ Styles with blue tights, I think, would be great for four-star AJ. I mean, we got that two. Let's get that three. We got that three. So, Austin, we coming for you next. Since this is a title match, what's... Oh, okay. So, I was just about to say, let's see what the title offer is going to be. Not interested, especially not for 600 gold. Alright, let's go for the Phenomenal Form, and match might just be over now. But we'll find out. Maybe he kicks out. We'll see. It'll depend on if I can match it up or not in time. Two. This right here reminds me... Oh, no. Fell. Okay. We fell that. So maybe we should try and get the Styles Clash. There we go. Styles Clash acquired, and uh, we're going to finish it off this way. We hit both finishers on Austin, and now, um, there we go, match one, two, three, and just the champ, St. Patrick's Day event is over, at least on Superstar, and we get some extra gold, gold is always useful for versus mode, so let me get into the loot section here, and as you can see, a very weak loot opening, we just got an event case, deli case, and four hour, of course, not gonna go ahead and open them all manually, we're just gonna go ahead and open all. And uh, hey, we get an advanced weight tier 2 dumbbell. Interesting. Then we get 75 2 star keys and a health pack. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode of Mayhem. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button down below. And with that said, I'm not guys. See ya.